Google is a very respectable company that has made plenty of awesome devices with the Pixel being their best one yet. And here we have OnePlus, a smaller smartphone manufacturer that has been gaining a lot of attraction over the last few years. With their new release of the OnePlus 3T, let's see how it holds up to the Google Pixel. If we started off with the build, both devices have a solid aluminum design with curved edges on the back. The Pixel takes it a step further by adding a rounded rectangular glass frame with a fingerprint sensor. The 3T has its scanner on the front. If we come to terms on what everyone is saying about the design of both devices, it would be that they both look boring. I'm not jumping on the bandwagon, but I can see how these devices have that typical smartphone look that won't be catching anyone's attention. Still, they're both comfortable in the hand, feel very durable and premium. I do however believe the 3T has a better design. What really caught my attention was the all aluminum build, glossy OnePlus logo, and the dark grey finish. It just looks better than the random rounded glass on the back and the giant space taking chin on the front. To make these devices a little more exciting, I put a dbrand skin on both. Personally, I decided to go with a marble finish as I think it makes both devices look very attractive. They have plenty of other skins to choose from for many other phones, so I'll drop a link right below that like button. I also find the fingerprint sensor on the OnePlus 3T to be much faster than the one on the Pixel. I can merely slide the tip of my index finger on the sensor and it will immediately recognize my fingerprint unlocking my device in milliseconds, while the one on the Pixel does recognize just fine, but it unlocks your device much slower. My guess is that it's the same scanner found on the Nexus 6P and Google decided to just move it on over to the Pixel and not improve it. Kind of a bummer, especially since this is a much more expensive device. Moving on to the displays, both devices have a 1080p AMOLED panel, but the OnePlus 3T has a bigger screen at 5.5 inches, while the Pixel slims down to just 5. You do have the option of upgrading to the Pixel XL, which comes packed with a 5.5 inch Quad HD AMOLED display, but that will cost you an extra $120 on top of the $650 you're already paying. As for the 3T, you'll be surprised to hear that you get a bigger and brighter display with much more natural looking colors at a cheaper price tag. Putting the two next to each other lets you clearly see that the white colors on the Pixel are washed out and have a yellow tint compared to the colors on the OnePlus. I'm not saying the Pixel has a horrible display or the OnePlus 3T has a way better one. Both devices are meh, but if I were to choose one, it would have to be the 3T. When it comes to battery life, both have solid batteries that will easily last you an entire day. The 3T is a lot bigger at 3,400 milliamp hours, while the Pixel has 2,770. It's a really huge difference, so obviously you're going to see a lot more screen on time if you're using the OnePlus. Maybe the bigger screen does affect it a little, but not to the point where you're getting less than 5 hours of screen on time like the Google Pixel. And there's no competing with dash charge at this point because as far as I know, this is still the fastest charging method for a device with a USB Type-C port. So as far as battery goes between either device, once again I'd say stick with the OnePlus 3T if you need that extra juice. Software wise, the Google Pixel is rocking stock Android with the latest version of Nougat 7.1.1. The cool part is that some features on this phone's software are exclusive so you won't find them anywhere else. Without going into too much detail, there's a new white navigation bar with a subtle animation when tapping the home button, Google Assistant to help you out with all of your questions, a redesigned launcher with beautiful animations and features, an enhanced Google backup, a support section to call or chat with a Google representative right from the settings, new gesture controls, and so much more. I honestly love this UI because it not only has some unique and useful features, but everything looks astonishing. Tapping on a button usually has an awesome animation and sometimes the little things that count the most. If we hop on over to Oxygen OS found on the OnePlus 3T, you'll find everything to be similar to stock Android. There's no bloatware, skins, or any unnecessary UI changes, which is very nice. It's also getting Android Nougat. Overall, just a very clean interface. It might not impress, but you'll be satisfied with the results. The Pixel is my choice for software. It's not just a simple ported over UI with a skin on top, but an interface that shows a lot of passion and hard work. They obviously didn't rush this process and made everything look nice. In my opinion, it's the best software I've seen on a smartphone yet. Now with both UIs coming in with plenty of features, animations, and the latest Android operating system, you'd probably want a high-end processor and plenty of RAM to make everything flow smoothly. That's exactly what you get as both devices are packing a Snapdragon 821 chip with the Pixel having 4GB of RAM and the 3T coming in with 6GB of RAM. Obviously both perform really well and the difference in performance is minuscule. 
I did however notice the OnePlus 3T was a bit quicker when opening applications or navigating through them. The reason being is that even though they both have the same processor, Google decided to underclock the CPU to 2.15 GHz, while OnePlus clocked their phone at 2.35 GHz, making the 3T a bit faster. For that slight variation and a bit more RAM availability, I will have to go with OnePlus on the performance. Switching over to the camera, I'm sure you've heard that the Google Pixel has the best one yet. It's a really fast shooter that has no shutter lag and focuses on your subject instantly. It also produces very nice pictures in whatever scenario you may be in, both day and night. Pictures come out looking natural, detailed, great dynamic range, and there's not much to complain about here. What really astonished not just me, but a lot of other people was the electronic stabilization for 4K video recording. It brings in some of the smoothest footages, and even though it's not perfect, it does work a lot of the time. The OnePlus 3T on the other hand isn't that far off from Google's masterpiece as it's still an all around solid camera. In the right amount of lighting, pictures are crisp, good color reproduction and sharp. If you shoot in low light, you may not have the same results. You can definitely tell the difference in dark scenarios between both devices as the Pixel produces significantly better photos than the 3T. Overall, the Pixel has the better camera here and we all saw it coming. Bottom line, I'd be lying if I didn't say both devices are great choices. No matter what device you get, you will be satisfied. The Pixel has the best camera on a smartphone, a good screen, battery life, great performance, and beautiful interface that everyone wants on their own device. The OnePlus 3 on the other hand has great battery life, performance, a solid screen, software, and camera, and you can get all of this at a starting price of $439. That's pretty cheap. Still, if it were up to me, I'd personally choose the Google Pixel as my preferred device because I just really enjoy pure Android and the camera that much more, but that's my opinion. The winner here according to the video results is obviously the OnePlus 3T. Definitely a phenomenal phone to get. Well, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments which device you prefer. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to check out andropolice.com for your latest and greatest news on Android. I will see you guys in the next one.